Kubot has made quite a few phones over the time and the Power is one of the latest offerings. In fact, this is one of the most powerful budget phones the company has ever made. The key specs include 128GB of internal storage, 6GB of RAM and a massive 6000 mAh battery. My name is Linus, let's take a look. The phone ships with some paperwork, USB cable, a power brick and a soft TPU case. Kubot Power is a nice looking phone, the device feels nice in the hand and the overall build quality is pretty good. However, I wish it was made of more premium materials. For example, the frame feels quite solid but I think it is made of plastic just like the glossy and cheap looking backplate. The buttons are ok but they feel a bit cheap as they are made of plastic too. The phone is a bit thick and heavy since it has a massive 6000 mAh battery that lasts for a long time. The best result I could achieve was 13 hours of screen on time that involved taking a lot of pictures, using maximum screen brightness setting a lot and so on. It takes about 1 hour and 40 minutes to fully charge the battery with a supplied fast charger. I found the display to be pretty nice overall and sunlight legibility is above average. There is just a single camera system on the back but the phone uses a high quality Samsung sensor. The fingerprint reader is quite accurate but as usual there is a slight delay between unlocking and the time the display lights up. Now a few features in a nutshell. The phone has a 13 megapixel selfie shooter, LED notification light, a headset jack and a hybrid dual SIM card tray. The loudspeaker quality is not really good. The sound is tinny and flat. Here is an audio sample. A huge selling point of the Kubot Power is an impressive sheet of specifications. In terms of gaming performance, is the usual case with the Helio P23 processors. It's possible to play most of the 3D games, but you should expect to see some skipped frames here and there and a bit of stutter from time to time. That's the case with the games like Asphalt Extreme or Shadow Fight 3. If you play PUBG on medium graphics, you should expect to have quite a bit of lag and stutter. One of my favorite features of the Kubot Power is stock Android 8.1 user interface. There is no bloatware, no gimmicky features and most importantly, the overall performance is just great. The phone feels nice and smooth all the time, even after installing quite a few apps. I'm really happy with a clean and fast user interface. I didn't expect that but I'm happy to say that the image quality is pretty good overall. I believe this is the best camera phone Kubot has ever made as the pictures usually come out nice and detailed and even dynamic range is handled well. Obviously there is a bit too much visible noise in some of the shots etc but that's nitpicking. Low light image quality is not the best but again it's surprisingly decent for a sub $200 phone. Selfies could look a little bit sharper but they will do the trick for social media. 1080p video quality is quite good. However, there is no continuous autofocus and the footage is quite shaky. 1080p selfie video looks pretty good too and the sound recording quality is decent. I didn't have any issues in the connectivity department. The signal remains strong all the time and call quality is decent. Also GPS is accurate to use. The phone has a gyroscope among other sensors. Overall, Kubot Power is a pretty good budget phone. Even though it's not perfect, it exceeded my expectations. I like that the phone ships with 128GB of internal storage and 6GB of RAM. I also enjoy stock Android user interface and daily performance has been good. You also get excellent battery life and surprisingly good cameras for the price of the phone. Now the shortcomings. 
the phone feels a bit plasticky even though the build quality is pretty good. Also, the loudspeaker could be better and finally, you may see a few skipped frames and stutter in the latest 3D games. At the end of the day, none of those budget phones is perfect, but Kubot Power is a pretty solid phone as you get a lot of value for the price, despite a few shortcomings. So what do you guys think about the Kubot Power? Would you choose this phone or would you buy another device? As always, use that comment section down below and please visit gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews. It was Linus, thanks for watching and see you soon.